Hello my lovely ears, a doll here and with the new year approaching I wanted to experiment with a few new ideas and usually my go-to colors for getting ready are always black, more black, some more black, some purples maybe, but mostly black. So for the coming year, one of my new year's resolution is to play with more colors and since I got these beautiful um, shades of nude and these shades of brown from Surreal recently, I've been doing some experimenting and so I want to show you how to do this gorgeous um, coffee smoky eye with a little bit of a highlight shimmer of, the, of this one right here, Mother Earth. So let's get started, shall we? So I've already primed my eye and I've already moisturized my face. So always remember before starting any makeup, make sure you moisturize your face. You need the hydration and it'll also keep it looking better throughout the day. So I already used the Surreal Makeup Primer right here. I went over with a little bit of white eyeliner underneath my eyebrow right here. It'll also help me shape it and also bring out the highlight. For the highlight, I'm going to be using A-List from Surreal. Getting the sifter, tap it out of it. And then just go underneath your eyebrow, over the white eyeliner. And because my skin is so pale, I need all the pale highlight I can get. And I have a little bit of a yellow undertone, so I like to stick with very pale white highlights. If your skin has a little bit of a pale yellow undertone like mine, I would advise you to go with a very pale white as your highlight. Try to stay away from overly golden yellows or anything that looks too yellow as a highlight if you already have a yellow undertone because it'll only make you look more yellow and we don't want that. This A-list is gorgeous. So now that we've already used our A-list as our highlight, the next step we're going to do is we're going to go in with our first tone and that's going to be Sugar Cookie. It's going to give it a little bit of a warmth dimension as what we have underneath. And for this, I'm just going to do it on this side. I'm not going to cover my whole eye in the Sugar Cookie and I'm going to show you why in a second. right under my crease and then here close to my tear duct so if you're one of those people that really don't like doing very dark eyes using black mineral you can try using these browns and these nudes going again so there's no awkward silence so what I'm doing is I'm just taking sugar cookie and I'm following underneath my crease here and I'm not going in the center try and avoid putting it in the center and I'm going to tell you why in a second then we mostly want to cover our eyes here near our crease go under here and then on this side a little bit I'm going to blend it out also gives it a nice mixture to the highlight. The color it complements and blends nicely with the white A-list we use as our highlight. Remember to blend, hold your brush towards the end 
Get a lighter hand if you're heavy handed. It's funny because for the longest time I always told myself that, oh, I'm never going to use these colors. These are boring. But actually, they're very versatile in what you can do with these shades. I know that sounds weird and kind of basic, but honestly, it's the truth. There we go. So now that that eye is covered and it gives it a nice um, base for us to work off, we're going to be using this warm matte colored and this is hot cocoa. Or hot, hot chocolate, hot cocoa. It's the same. It's good. <laughs> So right he here, you're going to take a little bit of this mineral and you're just going to dab it as close as you can to your crease here. You want the darkest colors in your inner crease. And we're going to do it right here in your tear duct as well. Get it as dark as you can. Blend it out by using a dry brush. Very lightly. I want it to look almost like a smoked like texture. You blend it out. I guess that's why they call it a smoky eye, huh? in a little more darker again. So this place that we have in the middle that's completely bare, we're going to take some more of our Surreal Primer. In the middle, we're going to dab it on just like that. Then we're taking our Mother Earth Shimmer, which is actually a mineral, but has a little bit of a shimmer to it. We're going to dab that on in the center. You see how it gives it that beautiful contrast? dimension. A little bit of more brown. Just give it that really... And there we are. Now we're going to take our concealer. And I just had my concealer brush with me a second ago. Here we are. 
with your concealer you can sculpt out the shape of your eye we want to match this one Blend out with a sponge. Here we go. Now I'm going to be showing you a new trick that I just learned to do with Surreal that's pretty wicked. So you're going to first take any black eyeliner you want of your choice. I'm going to use pencil for now. I'm going to go over that our eye with it. Just to get a shape of how our eye is with the black pencil eyeliner. And what I did that's really cool, it's real. Once you shape your eye with the desired black eyeliner, I took the mineral mistress and I combined it with the primer from Surreal and I created my own eyeliner gel using Surreal Minerals. So this is something really cool you can do. Just take a little dab of this primer, squirt it in either a little tray, add a little pinch of the Surreal Mineral, and you have your own chemical free eyeliner gel. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can make some wicked looking cat eyes. Or wings or whatever kids call them now. There you go. So our last thing that we're going to do is add, apply a little bit of a drop shadow underneath using our Mother Earth. A little bit underneath here. We're going to be taking Opal. a little with your eyes and this is really going to make your eyes even look wider you put a little bit of white mineral here like I just did take your desired black mascara of choice And you are done so this is a cute look for you to try for um, New Year's Day or just for even if you're going on a date or for whatever reason it's my New Year's resolution to start um, playing with colors that are not always blacks or a very bright bright pastel when I'm feeling my cutesy I don't want the whole world to die I'm not all gloom and doom mood which is probably about less than 2% of the time. Oh well. <laughs> but 
Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll be bringing some more and I want to know what is your New Year's resolution? What kind of things do you want to see on this channel? Leave me a like and a comment below. Surreal Makeup um, info is going to be in the box in the description. So thank you everyone. Happy New Year and I hope to see you soon my lovelies.